Anytime you open up PowerPoint or you work on old presentations, usually the default view is the normal view, and the normal view includes what you're seeing here. It's got the thumbnail preview of all the slides over to the left-hand side, and then over to the right, whatever slide you have selected is the main view. You can edit the text, add content to that slide, and then move along. You can see over here, I have nine slides, one of nine it says there, but to see the additional slides, I have to scroll down. But there's another view that when it comes to managing your slides, not the content or adding text to it, but when it comes to like an overall view with changing transitions, moving slides about, instead of just using this little narrow window here, you can actually open that up so you can see all your slides in a thumbnail preview right in front of you, and this time horizontally and not vertically. To do so, come up here and click on the View tab, come over here to the Presentation Views group, and then click on the Slide Sorter button. And you can see on the normal one that's defaulted here that's highlighted in orange that it has three little squares off to the left hand side I mean there's your thumbnails and it has the main square in the middle where the slide sort of view has just a bunch of little squares here that just means that it has all your slides and thumbnail preview it has no big slide or no main view for you to go ahead and add or edit content in your slides but when you click on it again the whole purpose of this is just to say I've already added content to it now I just want to move my slides around copy and paste some of them or just get an overall view to see the flow of the slides. For example, maybe slide 8, without scrolling up and down in the normal view, I can see it right here and go, okay, the chart doesn't belong here. It actually, well, let me click and hold it and drag it at the end. Now, it's slide 9, and it shift places with slide 8. And again, you can click and drag them around. You can right-click and copy them, cut them, paste them, move them to other parts of your presentation. Even if you cut them, they disappear, and you just right-click on another slide and paste them. It'll always pop up behind the slide that you selected to paste the slide on. Other options, you probably notice that when you right-click, you also have the option to hide the slide. Again, we've covered this a little bit earlier in the training videos, but when you left-click on it, it takes that little number, and it puts a little gray box around it with a line through it, and it just says when you go through your presentation, when you go from slide 2, it'll skip slide 3 and go to slide 4. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you're giving a presentation in front of one group, your boss or managers, and they want to know the breakdown by the pie chart, whereas you're giving it to other prospective stockholders or other clients, and you don't want to show them the breakdown of your revenues here, in which case that's fine. That way you don't have to delete the slide and then add it back in later because you're giving basically the same presentation but just to a slightly different group that doesn't include one or two slides. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to go ahead and view the slideshow when I click on it starts um, on slide one here and I'll click with my left mouse button to go to slide two now slide three should be the pie chart but because it's hidden when I click on my mouse button it just totally skips it and it goes to slide four slide five when I hit escape on the keyboard pulls me back out and the last slide that I was on in the presentation was slide five so again to get rid of this so I can actually see it in the presentation just go ahead and when in doubt right click and check and click on hide slide and it removes that little around the number so we know that it's no longer hidden. Another cool thing you can do in slide sorter preview that I like is you can add transitions to your slides, get an overall feel of how it's going to transition from this slide to that slide. Is it going to dissolve? It's going to be checkered board. Just kind of a distant feel for it versus being so up close. So for example, I'm still in my slide sorter view. I can come to the animations tab, select a slide here, and then I got my transitions for the slide. You can click on the more box here. Of course, when you click on it, you're not able to see the slide. So let me click off, let me choose one of the slides over here, and then I can go ahead and click on the More button, and then choose one of these slides, maybe a Wipe Up. You can see how it just wiped up really quick, and then add that little star with a bunch of lines behind it, meaning that a transition to that slide has been added. So when I click on Slide 4, and let's say I want to see the presentation from Slide 4 through Slide 6 to see how the transition works, go ahead and select Slide 4, and you can come down here on the frame of PowerPoint and over here that little icon where it says slideshow click on that and it begins on slide 4 click on it you see how it wiped up to go into slide 5 pretty cool click on it again and it just pops over there's no transition no wipe ups because I haven't added all the transitions to my slides just yet I'll go ahead and hit escape to end my slideshow and then when I select slide 5 if I don't want the transition to it I can either hit the undo button or just in the transition to the slides group, click on the more button, come up here and say no transition. It gets rid of that little star with lines behind it. Then I'm back to square one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.